All right, we just started the second game. We notice here, in Team 2 Lucky, they have switched sides. Father is taking on his sister, and nephew is taking on Keith. She throws a little wide. When you got to, good shot. CC takes a point. Conrad's CC and Keith up one game to nothing. Best of three. I know they're hoping to put this game away right now. They don't want to go to a third game. Nobody does in this position. Oh, maybe the switching helped. Lyle puts on his first stringer. And Keith's hoping to top it. Off to the left. His partner says, good luck. He sees a little peg there. He wants some more, but throws it deep. Score now, 3-1 to Lucky. Mm. CC throws a little wide and pushes him in just a little closer. Oh, right against the front of the pin. Two nice throws by Beeb. Plenty of peg air. We know what Cece wants. She wants to ring it. A little wide. Two for two lucky. They now lead five to one. Off the front of the pin. He's at the pin. He's got the pin. He's doing a little better than when he was throwing the other direction. He's still looking to stab one in there despite that upside down quite in his way. And he does it. He throws over it and stabs it in. She knows her partner. That's what Keith does. A little deep for the ringer. Keith looking to get some more points out of this. He wants more than one. Both quates are over, so it could be an easy two. And he gets the easy two. So you see Keith coming back now. Three throwing five. Isn't that nice of Keith, making the pits pretty for his partner. That's a good partner. Stomp them pits down every time you throw. Yeah, not a bad quait, half inch. A lot of, lot of clay in between there. Just a lot of real estate for somebody to dive in. Well, you got the side of the pin. She was looking ringer right in line, but fell a little short. He's going for the ringer. A little short. Score now 3-6. I think that one got away from him a little bit wide. A 
looking to stab it in the front, a little short, but still a good stabber. He's in for one, his partner once more. And he hits the ringer. We didn't even hear that hit the pin. Nothing but net. There is a lead change. CC and Keith are now head 7 6. First throw. Oh, pretty nice. And Beeb knows that that could lay against if he hits it. He doesn't want to touch it. Very hard shot. Try and hit the pin without hitting her. Now he fluffed her in a little. And she's got two inches to put another one in there. Pin semi-blocked for a ringer. Lyle is looking. He says that is a leaner. It is on top of the mushroom. He's hoping to hit it off. And it looked like he puts one on too. Or might have knocked her off. Wow, he was not laying flat. Not a leaner. Neither was hers. She gets a point. CC and Keith ahead. 8-6. Tight game right now. CC and Keith are looking to walk away in the score. Oh, well, Keith throws a little flat, but it's in the front. And it's probably less than an inch away. Not a bad throw. Well, yes, it's less than an inch. He's looking to tighten it up. Three quarters of an inch is a lot of room for these guys. And he puts it tighter. Might be off the peg a little, but he's pretty close. We know Lyle once he's going for the ringer. Wow. Wasn't his most beautiful throw, but it made it there and went on. They take the lead back, 9-8. Dad comes back with a nice one on the side. A little bit off. Still room at the peg. She readjusts. She's taking her time. She's not in a hurry. She's going to make her shot. Uh, it wasn't a shot she was looking to make, but she has another quake. We know B wants a ringer. Well, he's a little short. The time for CC to steal one. Tries it up, she throws. Oh, throws a little wide and bounces off another quake. Now it's 11 8 in favor of two lucky. Eleven eight, you guys. Nice first shot by Lyle. Right against the pin. Pretty much right where you want to be. I'd take that every round. It's pretty close down there. Oh, Lyle throws that one deep. Keith wants a ringer. He puts one to the side of the peg, possibly against. Well, no, too lucky got that one. Their lead, 12-8. 
Church Quaid is tight. She throws a little wide to the right. She was in, he throws. Partner wants a ringer. She wants one too, and she can do it. A little short. Two lucky hits a point ahead 13 8. First throw, off by a little, to the left. <clears throat> but Keith's happy because he likes the front, and Lyle did not take the front from him. Right in the front. Lyle throws, looking for a ringer, but throws deep. It's time for Keith to do some damage. Sitting in there for a point. I know what he wants. He's going for a ringer. He bounces off. Good look. Very close. 9 throwing 13. Keith and Cece right behind. Not in a hole yet. Our first throw is a little short, probably an inch and a half, two inches. And B throws nice point right against in the front. A little short, B hoping to inflict a little more damage here. Once a ringer. Little off. One point two lucky ahead, fourteen nine. Lyle throws one on for Ringer's first shot. Keith has two looks at this. He's throwing with his claw throw. That's his ringer throw. Off a little bit to the left. Oh, he puts one tight. He's sitting four points. Keith needs to top this and can take six points. Keith throws a little deep. Four for two lucky. Now sitting 18-9. CC and Keith hoping to get a little rally started here. There's their chance. CC needs to take advantage of this. And the other team's on 18 there. One ringer away from winning. And it's kind of a wake-up call to you. You need to get going. You need to do something. Hmm. We might have too tight. CC's off a little bit. Her partner says through that ringer. And they're looking. They are very close. A lot of times fingers settle the argument. Well, they decide to grab the calipers out. <laughs> calipers are very good for telling who's how far away. He 
he's looking, he's measuring beeves. I'm measuring CCs. One for CC. It helps stop the bleeding. They need to get a rally started here. That's just one point towards hopefully winning the rest of this game. They wanted to put it away this game. They don't want to go to a third game. Keith off a little bit of an inch on that shot. Lyle throws deep. Keith looking to tighten up with this throw. Hopefully put it against where his first point missed. And that's what he does. He puts it in front of the other one. And he might be against a peg. We didn't hear anything on that, but he's very close. Two for Keith now. 12-18 game. They're coming back. Rally towels are flying. Oh yeah, I think it's safe to say most of the fans here behind CC and Keith who've never gotten to a final together in a USQ8 points tournament. Oh, that one kind of bounced in, got away from her. Beef comes back, leaves her a little room. Partner wants a ringer. She throws a little short, but bounces. Oh, he's looking to end the game. A little wide on that one. But two points for Beeb. It's now sitting too lucky with 20. Keith and CC 12. We are looking at a game point here. An inch away. Keith has an inch to work with. A lot of room for a Koi player. And he throws it tight. Lyle throws deep. He's probably looking for a ringer here because they are down. Nothing to lose. Keith got two out of that. 14-20. CC and Keith hanging by a thread, but they're still hanging. They can come back and win. As long as you keep fighting, you're not out. And if you can hit the pin, you got something to show. Oh, and Beave rings it. Could be the end of the game. Will be the end of the game as CC does not top it. And that's the end of game two. Final score, 21-14.